I believe it's a human right to give children the permission to feel all emotions, which they're going to do, but also to have the ability to express those feelings. The first three words in the book, proper, um, are how are you feeling? And that question, and I can imagine that people are automatically answering, you know, fine, right, I'm doing well, I'm doing okay. I think we're so confident and so, oh, everything's good, everything's great. We use these same words over and over again, where I think Mr. Brackett, he does a fabulous job of broadening our vocabulary in terms of emotions. He created this mood meter. You can probably see this um, here. I use this all the time. And, um, you know, so the ability to be able to label how we're feeling allows us then to um, express emotions appropriately, when appropriate, where, how. I really think it could bring us together. I really do. I, because we could see some places where we share common ground and that in itself is a unifier. All of the students in my classroom are coming from different stressors in their lives and are trying to manage their own emotions and those are things that we don't teach. So this book helps you teach those emotions. We are living in difficult times right now um, and I would say there's not a single person who has not struggled. Picture someone you know and maybe picture someone close to you, someone you love, and then try to recognize the fact that maybe you don't know exactly how to talk to them and what's going on. Mental health and, and wellness is a discussion we should be having on a regular basis and we should be doing it without hesitation. When you read it and you walk away, you think, oh my goodness, look how many words there are that I've never even thought about, but that is literally how I'm feeling. Our mission is to support student wellness, um, emotional wellness, uh, through education, conversation, collaboration, and action. For me, his stories resonated a lot. Mark Brackett has done this research um, at Yale through the Center for Emotional Intelligence for over 20 years. He has lots of evidence that says um, we need to be teaching these skills. And I, and I love that um, when you read this book, you can walk away with a set of strategies. This book can really help you um, recognize your own emotion, but also possibly the emotion in another person. It enables people to understand the benefits of openness and um, ways to to communicate that actually are healthy. As a counselor, I've always believed that emotional intelligence is key and essential for um, human success. The book is for everyone. And I am really excited um, that I had a chance to read it because I recognize that it wasn't just for me to engage with my, my young students. It, is something, there was something for everyone in the book, whether you're a teacher, a parent, or a student. With the book Permission to Feel, um, we feel like we're again inviting um, the full community to join us in work that we believe is really important.